somehow Oda managed to do it again guys. He somehow managed to give us the same exact chapter we got last week. Oda, I don't know how you do it, but you're a go, man. You're a legend. All seriousness, like last chapter, there's just a whole bunch of talking. So I will not bore you and we'll talk about the fun stuff in this chapter. AKA, we're gonna talk about my agenda. Which a lot of you guys love to hear about. We're on the same page. Before we get into it guys, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Or not. And wait for another one of my videos to show up in your recommendations. And just click it every single time. Instead of subscribing. Yeah, I can't with you guys, man. We're gonna play these games every video now. I think that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so the title of the chapter is Admiral Kizaru. When I first read this, I got chills. I don't think you guys know this, but at some point, I should probably say years ago, I started to develop a Kizaru agenda for years now. And at some point, I said some blasphemous stuff. I said he was stronger than Nihonk at some point, Shanks, Kaido, maybe that might be true, who knows? <laughs> I said a lot of good shit about Kizaru back in the day, so when I seen this title, I jumped a little bit, like a little girl. By the way, guys, the Marines reign supreme. Yeah, I bet y'all don't remember that, right? The Marines reign supreme supreme and who's the strongest fighters of the marines admirals and who's the admiral kizaru which admiral has the yonko shook kizaru now do i believe how confident he was to go to wano to pack up kaido big mom i do okay well all jokes aside kizaru over big mom should be common knowledge i know this chat doesn't necessarily prove that but like i just feel like that's a, like a, a common thing that should be said i'm sorry big mom fans i'm sorry please don't hit me with the big mom and kaido are on the same level she's almost equal to kaido i'm sorry bro that's my kryptonite chill out bro please so obviously we seen in the last panel luffy was sensing someone and some people think it was the kizaru that he was sensing which is uh i don't know how to say this uh Look, here's the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm um, gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. The same page Kizaru is literally moving at light speed under the dome that Luffy's on. And the words light is coming from down below were said. What more do you need? Kizaru was just moving at light speed. And Luffy has light particles near his face, the same particles that surround Kizaru. He used Yasakani to speed through Egghead and kick Sentamaru. By the way, incoming King of Lightning. The man who said the flaming kicks of King need to be matched. That's right! The flaming kicks of King need to be matched! The flaming kicks of King need to be matched! He's now gonna say, the light speed kicks of Kizaru need to be matched. I agree. They need to be matched by a certain someone. My go. Lastly, the title of the chapter is literally called Admiral Kizaru. It's meant to hype up Admiral Kizaru. It's about Admiral Kizaru. Why the fuck would they not be hyping Admiral Kizaru in the last panel where Luffy is sensing someone? Some people talking about Luffy only scared because of this and that. He wasn't scared of the admirals in Marine Ford and some booty. He was afraid of all the admirals. Ha ha ha. Shut the fuck up, boy. This was Luffy when Greenbow pulled up. And this was Luffy when Kizaru pulled up. I've been told y'all these OG admirals are built from a different cloth. I told you guys about this. I told you in one of these recent videos. Also, something else that's pretty interesting. Kizaru only seemed like a corporate slave. Like he seemed like he was just a robot that followed orders. But this chapter showed us he still got morals and principles. And then he told Saturn he won't go against them. Kizaru Congress hockey ain't out the question yet, boys. He might actually still have that. It's still possible. I know people think he doesn't because he don't got no free will. That's an interesting topic. Maybe I should make a video on that. Uh, by the way, the Seraph in this chapter, they seem to be fine, honestly. Some of them ended up hacking up Kaku to the point where he's on a stretcher. I don't know who the fuck fucked him up like that. That just shows us that our guys, Zoro, Sanji, Luffy, they handled their guys. Like, they didn't get bitched or punked around like Kaku. But the Seraph from R fine. Even though I feel like something's telling me S Shark ain't too happy. I don't know why. Hmm. Flashback. Oh yeah, once again, since we probably already came to this conclusion, the lineage used to make a clone of the Seraphim is the reason why S Snake has feelings for Luffy. She unpetrified Frankie this chapter because Luffy told her. And she has feelings for Luffy, which is kind of adorable, I guess. But I don't know. I don't, something's kind of off about it. I, I don't know why. I can't really pinpoint why. I, I don't know. This explains why S Hawk ran away in the middle of the fight. If you know, you know. Sanji casually pulling another baddie. By the way, bros, we're safe. I mean, you guys are safe. <laughs> Not like you guys. Official cleared up translations about Bonnie being a kid so y'all can observe Bonnie freely, you freaks. Man, you and I are not so different. I'm not like you. 
Well, I need this chapter. Saying Sanji's a great man and is skilled at cooking and a strong fighter. Do you even know who this guy is, Bonnie? But I like how you're talking about him. Okay, Bonnie. All right, all right. Oda man, the writing is on the wall. She loves food. Sanji's the best chef in the world. And she's already talking about him kind of crazy. Make something happen over here, Oda, man. Come on. Don't play with me. Oda, give Sanji another simp, man. By the way, there is a theory that this might not actually be Bonnie and it could be Katarina Devon. And that's why Oda is basically hinting at her being kind of different, like Luffy said in the chapter. And I think this could be likely because we do know Katarina Devon is more than likely to be one of the people arriving to Egghead Island because she wasn't on Hachinosu or with Blackbeard recently. But then yet again, how could she get in when the dome is completely closed like they kept reiterating this entire chapter? And the fact that Bonnie asked for her favorite food this chapter, which is pizza, which I doubt Katarina would know. And Bonnie was sad with the whole Kuma situation, but now she seems happy. But she could have most definitely come to terms with Kuma's situation after seeing his memories and is now at peace, I guess. Yes. Oh, by the way, we got confirmed they're going to Elbath after we leave this island. So Egghead was more like a Zo arc, kinda. A lot of information, a short arc. I expect Elbath to be a giant arc. See what I did there? Giants? Huh? Huh? Yeah? Yeah? But anyway, Goobers, Shanks will not be there when they arrive. Some of y'all forgot he took Garbage Man's life and his Ponyglyph and dipped. Lastly, I find it kind of interesting that Oda separated Luffy and the rest of the crew. He left Luffy with some bums, like some literal bums. No disrespect to Frankie, I love you Frankie, but <laughs> Luffy is the first person to send Kizaru. Something's telling me Oda planned a Kizaru and Luffy showdown. That's why Zoro and Sanji are not with him, so that they can't interfere and jump Kizaru. I feel like the rest of the crew will encounter the fleet while escaping and maybe Luffy will encounter Kizaru. Saturn is the warrior of scientific defense, I believe. Wouldn't it make sense for him to encounter the main Vegapunk himself? The greatest scientist ever, scientific defense against the best possible scientist? I mean, that's a match made in heaven. So honestly, I think those are the matchups to be honest. I've been said this, I wouldn't be surprised if Oda made Zoro and Sanji fight Vice Admirals. I said this before, people thought I was crazy. Even though I would prefer Zoro and Sanji to account in Kizaru. Mainly Sanji though. But that's it guys, if you guys liked the video, make sure you guys take the time to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for all the support recently, very much appreciated. I do appreciate all you guys and I do love all you guys. Well, most of you. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Take care. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.